Okay guys, this is part two of my uh, video set on how to install Blender for use with Fallout modding. So here we go. I've actually already downloaded all the files from the Nexus and from NIF Tools. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to install Blender 2.49b. Okay, and just hit next, agree, and then I believe we want to use the default folder. Um, and instead of using the application data directory, let's use the installation directory. Um, this is for, well, I'll explain this in a little bit. There's a program that will actually ask you to do this if you don't have it installed in the correct directory. So let's go ahead and install this. So again, you know, you're going to want to install inside that, that other directory other than the default. So. Okay, and now it's going to ask you for Python 2.6. Let's go back over here and install Python 2.65. You'll probably notice I downloaded it twice, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and install it. And while this is installing, I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually do this first. Okay. Maybe not. We'll go ahead and see if it, it goes through before I pause the video. This is a little bit of a process, guys. It uh, Installing can take a little bit of your time and it's sometimes kind of boring, but you know whatever <laughs> now that that's installed um, I'm gonna go down here and actually install a program called PYFFI and that's also important let's go ahead and get that it's part of the part of Python to my understanding so part of the Python interface so let's go ahead and install that um, yeah, if it asks you that, I have previous installations on here. Um, if you're installing it for the first time, that shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and click next. I agree. And remember how I mentioned earlier that um, you should um, install, uh, that you should change that directory in Blender. This is the reason why this program actually will give you an error if you don't and tell you that you need to reinstall Blender and change your directory over to the one it wants. So go ahead and finish installing this. And, you know, there may be other ways of doing this. I just found that this was the most foolproof method that for installing this program that I had. Just I just sort of follow the instructions and go along with it until we get there. So anyway this will take just a moment here so now that we have okay well maybe one more second here now we hit next now we have the interfaces and Python and everything installed for all of the Python language. Um, you can optionally install um, MS Visual C uh, 2008. Eh, I don't really bother with it this time. And now that Blender's done, you just hit OK. It'll take you some documentation. Um, rather than just running Blender for the first time, we'll actually exit out of that. You can if you want, but you're going to want to shut it down before you install the scripts. We're going to try to do this quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and install the scripts now.
and I'll go ahead and click agree, next, install. Hopefully it went to the right directory. I didn't I really should have watched that to make sure. Okay, and we'll actually run Blender this time and make sure everything works. And I'm gonna click out of this just for a moment. Um, and we'll exit out of that now that we don't need it. Yeah, we should have everything we need. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> anyway, go in here. And this is Blender 2.49B. This is the older interface that you'll need to use. And if you go down here to File, Export, click on it, you should now see a Netmerse Gambrio NIF file. And what we're going to do real quick is, uh, I don't know if I can do this in here because I'm using my laptop and I don't have, this is going to be kind of hard to do without uh, that. So I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I don't know, we're going to try and export uh, a uh, net immerse file. Uh, doesn't really matter. cube.nif cub.nif cube.nif hey my cat wanted to join our session okay so go ahead and click export and I'm gonna go in here and see if I can set up things for fallout and there's fallout 3 okay and we're gonna go I don't know default mm. Most of this stuff isn't a big deal because this is just a test to export. You'll have to go through my other tutorial to, to see exactly what you want for this. Um, and yeah, US, use BS fade node root, I guess. Um, we don't need to dismember body parts for this. It's a, it's a cube. Anyway, uh, and it looks like I need to go further down here because my screen is a bit small for this. Um, let's see if I can. <laughs> okay, just hit OK at this point, I believe. Oh, we got an error. Okay, well, it doesn't have a UV map. Okay, um obviously because all we're doing is exporting the default cube so we'll delete the materials and hopefully this will export it and it should have kept all of our settings hopefully it exported so let's check our C directory and see if it actually exported our cute little cube here. And it looks like, sure enough, it did. As you can see over here, it says net immerse. On this side, it says net immerse Gambrio file. So there you go. We have exported our cube. So our exporter is working. So next thing we want to do is, um, you know what? We didn't install NIF scope. So let's go in here. This would be actually a very appropriate time to do this. Go ahead and install our NIFSCO program. This is actually a completely separate program. And here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, and here's NIFSCO. It just opened up automatically for us. up to C and here's our cube hopefully it'll open and there it is guys well this should conclude our um, tutorial set to install blender for use with fallout modding and to get the scripts and NIF scope working um, perhaps one additional note is on the Nexus there's also a program called FOMM um, that is for fallout mod manager you will also need this for your modding abilities and make sure to go out and install the GEC off from the Bethesda um, Fallout New Vegas site. Um, 
And there you have it, guys. Also, you know, for the for the geck on the note on another note for that, you'll want to go if if you're make sure you're installing the right geck for the right game. There's a different version for both um, New Vegas and Fallout 3, so you want to make sure you get the right version. So anyway, this should conclude our visit video for today. Um, happy blundering and happy Fallout modding. Thanks. Bye.